Last night's disruption of the Gangster State book launch might have sparked outrage, but the ANC Youth League in the Free State remains defiant. It's planning to go ahead with its plan to burn more copies of the book uh, by Peter Louis Myberg at the Mangaung Free State dump site next Monday. As the Youth League in the Free State, we uh, respect the Afghan National Congress leadership. And uh, we have, of, of, of course, heard through you, the media, that uh, the ANC has pronounced itself on certain issues. Uh, but uh, we would not respond to the ANC through the media because we are disciplined members of the ANC. We have internal mechanisms within our own organization through which we are able to communicate with the ANC. However, as the Youth League, we still uh, contend that this particular book does not belong to the shelves of our own uh, country. It is uh, simply a propaganda machinery which is inspired by Stratcom precisely because they have an intention of creating um, you know, a cloud around the leadership of the NC, particularly the Secretary General, Comrade Desmakashwila. And uh, it is not a coincidence in our view that they are doing this precisely a few days before the national general elections because they wanted to create an impression falsely so to society that the leadership of the ANC is corrupt and as a consequence therefore the ANC is led by corrupt individuals. So we are still sticking by our guns as the youth to say this book does not really belong to the shelves. This book is garbage and this book must be treated as such. But we must emphasize the point. We are not defying the ANC. With, like we are saying we can't respond to the ANC through the media. And still on the Gangstar State book launch disruption saga last night, joining us on the line from Johannesburg is uh, the ANC uh, Youth Leaks in Jabulo Nzuza. Uh, a very good morning to you. What are your concerns or your thoughts this morning as the story develops? Uh, good morning and good morning to all the viewers at home. Firstly, we would like to make it very clear that the ANC Youth League has not uh, sanctioned uh, the march or any uh, activity that took place in 17 uh, were not part of that, neither we had that as part of our program. That's the first issue we wanted to raise. The second issue is that we have uh, in this morning been in contact with our uh, leadership of the Free State Province, <coughs> and we have actually agreed that it is very unfortunate around the issue of the banning of the book, and uh, you will now from now on be seeing them retracting that particular part of them saying that they would want to participate in, in the banning of the book. There should be no activities by the ANC you click that will see to the banning of the book because we respect that uh, the rights we have as a country were fought for by the ANC and uh, we respect the ANC. I mean, the issue of the freedom of speech, of speech was one of the major highlights of the victory of the ANC government. So it can be us as children of the ANC who then act against what the ANC has actually delivered for the people of the country. And, uh, you know, even though there are aspects that we are not happy with in terms of the book, which portrays the leadership of the ANC as generally corrupt, and we support the Secretary General to take the issue under legal review so that we deal with this issue precisely with the precision that it deserves to be taken care of. Jabula, what are the protocols within the ANC Youth League in terms of media interaction? And uh, how, how, how independent are the provincial leadership bodies uh, as opposed to the, the, the national leadership in terms of interacting with media? Uh, I'm asking this just to try to determine how a media statement was sent out without the knowledge of the national leadership of the ANC Youth League. Well, uh, the provinces of the ANC Youth League have jurisdiction over provincial issues, but uh, the ANC Youth League, how it operates, it operates in the same manner like the ANC, where there is the issue of democratic centralism, because the ANC Youth League is a unitary structure. Once the instructions have been issued by the national head office, they then remain and should be implemented by our provinces, even though they have jurisdiction on local issues. But once a directive is issued by the national structure, such a, direction, such a directive should be implemented. And even before coming to media interviews, we have made sure that we actually interact with our structures. I, this morning, personally called the provincial secretary of the free state, and we agreed that the aspect of the banning of books was unnecessary, and uh, it should have been avoided, because it also gives unnecessary credence and public to this book, which now, you know, it, it's gaining traction 
just on the basis that the youth league spoke about it. And it, it, it makes us look as if we're now agents of the book and we want to popularize the book. And that is not the case. Even though we disagree with the content and how the book and the timing of when it's released, you know, but we believe that the legal system must play its role here. And we must get the book off the shelf using legal processes and not uh, actually banning the book. So what now? We spoke to the provincial leadership in the morning. They did indicate that the ANC Youth League did not sanction this action. But there was also that commitment to going ahead with the burning of books uh, on Monday at a dump site. Where, what happens now? Yes, that will not happen. We will continue with our engagement with the provincial leadership. As I've indicated, the Youth League remains a unitary structure and uh, it believes in the concept of democratic centralism, and that will play a very important role now moving forward. Our main action and program is on elections and not on banning books. Ours is to make sure that we can support for the overwhelming vehicle of the ANC and not banning books. You say yourself, your main action is focused on the upcoming election. The youth component of this election is very important in terms of looking out for the challenges that youth, the joblessness uh, that youth are facing in the country at the moment and the opening up of spaces for young people uh, to be part of society. What should young people who are trying to decide which way to go in this election? How should they be viewing the events of yesterday? Well, the events of yesterday, as I've said, they were not sanctioned by the ANC Euclid and they should be divorced from the ANC Euclid. Those events are unfortunate. They look at, uh, you know, they actually stumble on, on our constitution. And uh, our focus is to say, look, the youth needs job. We must do beneficiation to make sure that we create factories in the country for youth to get jobs. And that is why we have won the issue of the scrapping of experience for entry-level requirement position in government to make sure that youth gets the space that it needs. So we are there in the forefront of fighting for youth. This is, however, a very unfortunate incident that is now being corrected moving forward. And we hope that it will be reported correctly now that uh, the issue of the banning of books was just an unfortunate thing. And, uh, you know, it shouldn't have happened. And moving forward, we will continue to champion the interests of young people and focus on the issue of elections. And for the victories that I've already mentioned that are, are, are targeted towards reaching out to young people. It's all good and well to say you don't support what happened yesterday, but some sort of accountability needs to be taken here. Who is taking responsibility for organizing the event? Somebody uh, brought together people and they went through to Senton as a group to carry out this action. Well, we must, uh, as, as I've said, we'll be looking into the video and we'll see from there if there are any of the ANC Youth League uh, people who will have participated on their own individual capacity and we will deal with those individuals who will have participated. But the major issue here is that the ANC Youth League has never sanctioned a program of that particular nature. Even if there are issues in the book which seeks to influence the outcome of elections, because we are concerned about that, that the book is meant to portray the center of the ANC as corrupt and so on and so on. And that's why we support the Secretary General to go on legal uh, process on this issue so that we clear it with the speed that it deserves. But we are worried also about the timing of the book, where it's simply trying to say, here is an, is, 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 we which portrays the leadership of the ANC as generally corrupt without even going to a court of law, without having any finding from a court of law. That's what it seeks to do, it seeks to influence the election. But we do not believe that the banning of the book is the right way to go about it. I mean, as the ANC fought for this democracy, it is us as the young people who must defend this democracy. Is it not perhaps giving Peter Louis Mayberg uh, power that's not necessarily, he doesn't necessarily have, to say he's seeking to influence the outcome of elections? Well, exactly. If, 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 for instance, you issue a book and the book is actually available and you make claims about the book, it is the same as writing a newspaper. It's almost the same, not entirely the same. It's almost the same as writing a newspaper article where 
those allegations have not been proven in court and you make it public and you give it to people to issue. We knew that even during the apartheid regime, books were also a centrally used uh, tool which will influence society. So, and also these books are mainly funded and they go in circulation in their numbers and we know that, you know. So now we, we, we can't say that that strategy has fallen off. It's still a strategy that is there. We do believe that if there are people who are corrupt, they must be subjected to criminal processes and they must be dealt with because we do not support uh, corruption at all. There is no way where we say as the ANC Euclid to support corruption. We don't support corruption. We believe that people must undergo a due process of the law as it is also sometimes unfair to declare people as corrupt without having to go through a process that proves them as such. What of the book are you unhappy about? Well, we're unhappy with, uh, with in the main with the fact that the book depicts leadership as someone who is generally corrupt and those allegations have not been tested in the court of law. So you give us your assurance now that the burning of the book will not happen on Monday? The burning of the book will not happen. It is not the program of the ANC Youth League to burn any book. The ANC Youth League will not participate in any of the activities that have to do with the burning of the book. And also, the Fentin incident was not funded, no plan by the ANC Youth League. And uh, we appeal to all media houses to draw that particular distinction between the certain incident and the statement of the ANC Youth League in the free stage, which we have explained quite at length. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Jawalo Nzuza is the Secretary General of the ANC Youth League. Meanwhile